So the easiest way that I've found to remove these is first cut the hose about three inches back. Next, you're going to slit the hose up to the connector. And from there, you're going to score the hose up over the connector, but not too deep. And from there, you should be able to crack the hose off. And there it is. Here's another demonstration how to remove these hoses. Cut right up to where the nipple forms and then just score this guy carefully, not going through it. And it should crack off. Now this guy we're going to remove by twisting. It's important that you don't torque it either way. This nipple right here is real fragile. So we're just going to twist this guy off. So after you remove this rubber hose from the white sensor, you're also going to remove this. And you can discard this black hose, but this one we need to keep. We're going to reuse that later. Here we're going to show how to assemble the threaded insert installation tool. Basically you're just taking this 3 inch bolt and you're putting a nut and a washer on there. We're going to take this bracket and slide it on there and then place the threaded insert so that you just have a little bit of thread sticking out at the end. You're going to take either a half inch wrench or a 13 millimeter will work also and you're going to put that on there. And then a set of locking pliers to hold the bolt and then we'll take that over to the JK and install that threaded insert. So you're going to locate this hole which to give you some orientation here's a view of the back muffler that's the track bar that's the passenger side rear you take your insulation tool with a bracket that we just assembled. We're going to put the threaded insert in that hole. And then we're just going to tighten this bolt down. We're going to tighten it down. It's going to get easier and easier, and then it's going to stiffen up a little bit. You don't want to over tighten it, but snug it up. You're going to remove the install tool. Make sure that that threaded insert is firmly in there. And that completes the install of the threaded insert. Okay, here we're gonna install the EVAP canister into the relocation bracket. 
The relocation bracket is bolted loosely to the back where we put the thread and insert. We've got our one inch by quarter inch bolt down from the top with a uh, fender washer on the other side. I've got my bolt or my nut in one hand. I'm just gonna go ahead and push this all the way back. Swing the bracket into place. up and I'm going to loosely install this uh, quarter inch nut on the other side. Then from this side we're going to push the evac canister away from the upper spring perch. Give us about an inch to an inch and a half spacing there. And then we can Tighten it up. 